from Sunday. Today is November 1st. Merry Christmas, guys. Or happy holidays if you don't celebrate Christmas. I just celebrate Christmas, that's why I say it. Merry Christmas, it is November 1st. I put out my decorations. I'm so happy, oh my goodness. Even though I know Christmas is gonna look different this year, I still try my hardest, absolute hardest, to get into the spirit. I try. I purchased that little wreath from Target. It was about $10, and I purchased that little Christmas tree for about 10 or 15 bucks too. So those are my holiday decorations for this year, and I'll be reusing the same ones next year. I just want to get a little bit festive. But I do know it's still like November, so I don't know. Maybe I'll do like a fall theme in here, and then a Christmas theme out there, because it's November 1st, so. Merry Christmas. I had all this laundry to do that I just don't feel like doing. I don't feel like putting laundry away. Oh my goodness, I was so sick last night. Oh my gosh. I'm not even gonna go into the details, but I went out to eat yesterday at this place called Black Dog and the food was so good, but I was so sick last night. So I don't know if it was from that or if it was from like all this candy. Cause like it was Halloween yesterday, you know, like I gorged myself on candy, which is why my skin's breaking out. So I don't know if it was that. I don't know if it's because I went to McDonald's. I don't know what it was, but I was sick. Look, I, ooh man. So I was thinking about doing like a little fast today, like maybe just a, a, a detox or like a cleanse or something. I don't know, but see right when I said McDonald's, now, now I want McDonald's and it's like, no, I don't need McDonald's. Oh my gosh. I got this little thing from Target too. It's a little candle. It says Christmas is here. The scent is a something fur. Mm, like something winter fur. And you can smell it, but the problem is the candle is so tiny you really can't smell it. Uh, it came from the Target dollar section, so I didn't expect it to be really good, but it is kind of cute. And it does light the room up really, really well at night. I also got this one. It says, I just want to bake stuff and watch Christmas movies. I'll hold on to baking because I'm not really a baker. But Christmas movies, I was looking at a Christmas story this morning. I was like, yes, I'm in the mood. But one thing I do need to go do today is take this thing back to Aldi. I purchased these jeggings and they are tight. Like they're size, like, I mean, they're my size. But I think it's because I'm so used to my leggings being like nice and stretchy and stuff like that. These are just more like tight tights. I don't know how to really say that. But uh, I may go to Aldi. I need to go somewhere and get some produce because Aldi sucks with that produce. So I don't know. I don't feel like doing any of this. <laughs> but we shall see. First things first is that mess right there. So before we go on, I want to talk a little bit about this company called Mix Easy. Thank you so much, Mix Easy, for sending me a couple of products. Mix Easy is a natural cosmetics library where you can go on and customize your own facial products or hair products or whatever you might want. You can customize a cleanser, shampoo, hair mask, face cleanser, conditioner, things like that. So I was really, really excited to try this out because I love customizing things. So I have my gentle face cleanser for normal combination skin. I chose the honey and milk and my key ingredients are Arnica extract, green coffee extract, calendula extract, parsley extract, and Iceland moss extract. And I also have my face mask, also normal in combination. I chose bamboo and cucumber and I chose chamomile extract, calendula extract, and mulein flower extract. Not sure if I'm pronouncing this right, but everything will be linked down below if you want to go check it out. So I always start off my morning washing my face, so I was really excited to try out the Gentle Cleanser. I pretty much mixed everything in there that said it helped with acne because I used to have horrible acne. Now I just have sometimes bad acne acne and i definitely have a few scars i'm trying to get rid of so this is what the consistency looks like and yeah we're just gonna get on with washing this face while i am doing this let me show you all how to go on and create your own product so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to mixeasy.com and you have option for face or hair let's just do face then they have these tools like the spin care system i think i did a review on that too but um, we're going to scroll down to Gentle Face Cleanser, but you can do quick overview just to kind of see what else they have. But we're going to do Gentle Face Cleanser for the sake of this. My skin is normal in combination. 
So now here are your natural ingredients. You can add up to five. So what I added was blemish free. This was the Arnica extract that I was talking about. It says it's a hard working extract known for its anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties. Helps to treat acne, combat the appearance of breakouts and blemishes. Now, I'm not going to read about each one, but they, they each do give a little, um, what you call this, description about what it is and what it'll do for you. And a matter of fact, I do not remember what the other ones were. Okay, I know I did reduce scars, fade dark spots. <laughs> I'm telling you. And for just the sake of time, we're going to do even skin texture and elasticity. I don't think that's what I chose, but... You know, you have all those different options there. Next, you choose your fragrance. You could do fragrance free. I did honey and milk and oh, it smells like honey and milk. Like, oh my goodness, it smells good. So now my name was the I Am Lex Cleanser. As you can see, I got it saved in there, but you can name your formula, whatever you like to. And now we're gonna add it to our cart and we're gonna check out. And here comes the fun part, y'all. Gift card or discount. Look, I'm going to show y'all something. I'm going to show y'all something right now. Alexis. And then bam. Bam. Look at that. You Look at that. You got a discount. Just put my name in. Wow. Okay. So that's how you do it. If you're interested, I will link their website down below. And you can go check out everything else they have. And by the way, after using the facial cleanser, face was smooth as I don't know what. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I look like 10 different types of trash. I still have like this internal queasiness. So I'm trying not to think about it. But I am getting ready to go to the Illini Union Bookstore because my friend Amy, she told me that they have some free samples in there. And these are like some little teeny little things now. These are like some full grown samples. like. Thick daddy samples and I'm like oh okay I'm gonna go check that out just to get out and get some fresh air because realistically I I want to come back and just sleep for the rest of the day but I don't know if I'm gonna do that but figured I'd take y'all with me so let's go up the streets you know what I should start doing more often going out for a Sunday morning walk maybe after church because it's like nobody out here and it's I don't know the sun's on my face and it's kind of nice okay change of plans the thing with the samples was closed today so I'll probably go tomorrow sometime. And you'll have to watch my Instagram story to see what I got. <sighs> Let me go home and do some laundry. Okay, so it is 1.36. And I just woke up from a pretty mean nap. Like, it felt pretty good. Much needed. But now I gotta get back to work. The main thing I'm trying to get done today is this journal critique. It is on this article, uh, the effects of advertising copy on sensory thoughts and perceived taste. Basically it's saying when you see a food advertisement, if the slogan appeals to one of your senses, that's not as good as a multi-sensory advertisement slogan where it appealed, where it will appeal to more than one of your senses. So. Basically, it's saying it should appeal to your eyes, your nose, your ears, all that. So, I'm on page two. The general critique doesn't have to be more than four pages. This, this might be my shortest one because I don't really even feel like doing this. But I got to get this out of the way because I got other stuff I got to work on this week. So, I'm up. I think I'm going to go have some more of that focus tea. You remember from Tea Me? I think I'm going to go make me a cup of that and get on with this. Okay, so if I do not wash my hair today, it is going to break or something because this is so dry. But I'm getting ready to go to the Aldi to take those pants back. And I wanted some chicken noodle soup, so I may go get some of that. I'm trying to stop eating that stuff out the can because it's so salty. But I really wanted some today, so I might get some. I might just go and take the pants back because realistically, I'm trying to do all my shopping between today and tomorrow. Realistically, if I could get it done today, that'd be great because I'm not trying to go out on Tuesday because I don't discuss politics on this channel, but it doesn't matter who gets elected. I'm expecting some craziness to be going on on Tuesday. So I'm trying to not go out on Tuesday. I'm trying to not go out on Wednesday. Really, if I could not go out for the rest of that week, that would be ideal. So we're gonna see today. Oh, I can go get some green onions. I wanted some green onions for this other thing I was making. Okay, I have a little list. Um, but yeah, it's 3 o'clock. I have something to do at 8, which is in 5 hours. But 
I'm trying to hurry up and get out of here so I can get back. Okay, so it just turned five o'clock. I was only out for about, what, two hours? Okay, that's not bad. Let me give you all a, a, a little grocery haul. This is from Walmart. I just ran in there and ran out because I really don't like shopping at Walmart. Let me give you a little haul, junk food haul. So I got the Eggo cereal, right? This cereal is so good. Oh my goodness, I didn't go in there for this, but I got some of that. I got some grapes and some pomegranate. I did kind of go in there for fruit, but I didn't think I was gonna get it like this, but I got some of that. I got some green onions. I'm planning on a, chopping this up into a dish I wanna make. I love green onions, they just, I don't know, they taste good. The last time I made the mistake by freezing, I'm thinking that will help them last longer, I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> Put them in the fridge, but I got this. Some ramen, just to kind of keep up there, you know, just in case, you know, I'm deciding I'm staying in the house longer the next Tuesday and the rest of the week. Three potatoes, one of my favorite quick dinners is a loaded baked potato, so you know what, I think I might make that tonight, I'm not sure yet. But I got three potatoes. These little clips to go on some chips up there. I've been meaning to get this for a while and I just saw it in Walmart and I was like, oh, okay, let me grab it. So I got some bag clips and some soup. I said I was gonna stop eating this because this is too salty, but I really, really was craving some today, so here it is. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have any today because I don't need this, but I still have some anyway, I guess just to go into the cabinet. And this came to about 20 bucks and some change. You know, this evening just feels like it is going on so slow. Don't mind my hair, I'm getting ready to wash it. But I got my uh, research article critique done. It's actually not due until Sunday, but I got it done early because I have my first draft of this explication due on Sunday. Like I said earlier, I don't know why I did that, scheduled it that way, but the journal critique is done. Uh, I think the next thing I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to work on my IRB forms that I was working on in another vlog, but me and my partner have to resubmit all of them because they were wrong. So I'm going to try to get my half done and sh hopefully she'll get her half done because I want to resubmit this like ASAP. And uh, it is 7.17. I have my APO meeting at 8. So happy these are online. Oh my goodness. I don't know what I'd do if we had to go somewhere in person. Man. I don't know, it's like I'm ready for the pandemic to be over because people are dying and losing their jobs, but I'm not ready for these online offerings to be over. I'm kind of, I kind of like this. Oh well. But thank y'all for hanging, uh, thank y'all for hanging with me today. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do some extra work I have to do and then it's back to classes tomorrow. But yeah, thank y'all so much for watching and I will talk to y'all another day. Bye. Look at y'all sticking around because I said we're going to do the face mask at the end. But all right, let's test out this face mask. This is how the consistency is looking like. It smells really good, by the way. And yeah, I usually like to use an applicator, uh, but I had one and it has vanished into thin air. So yeah, we're using my fingers. It did not have instructions for how long to keep it on. So I just kept it on for about, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. And then I rinsed it off just like what I'm assuming you're supposed to do. And now boom, I'm feeling my face and I'm not even lying to you. Feels pretty soft, okay.